Hello everyone, this is Ronnie. Uh, this channel is all about uh, teach, giving you information about a uh, raw vegan diet. I've got about 700 videos on this channel. And if you go back to the start, it's basically my journey going towards being a raw vegan if you want to check out any of that. My first video goes back to just after the first time I came back from Woodstock Fruit Festival. And then you can see me different places in the world, different festivals I've been to, different interviews I've given with people. So that's that's kind of the journey that this channel is. And then starting the Fruit Festival in the UK, which we've been doing the last seven years. So just that, that's a little introduction. So uh, what I want to talk about is, is the concept of coaching. Now, when it comes to people coming into the raw vegan community, the raw vegan lifestyle, I perceive like, I've been thinking about the journey of people coming in and wanting to experiment and experience this and what are the different things that are, that are on offer out there that people want and need support for help to help them make those changes. And one of the things that people coming into this lifestyle changing, one of the first things that a lot of people actually get into is because people are worried about deficiencies and things like that, they un, uncorrectly, in, incorrectly, giving bad advice, and they get worried about all sorts of deficiencies. They don't exist. Most of them don't even exist. That no one ever gets. But anyway, um, <laughs> regardless. Uh, so over the years, the raw food movement has been full of supplement sellers, people that sell herbs, which is maybe more of a medicinal thing, but similar and then all sorts of detox things and, and different little products that are meant to help people uh, do this and, and when people are having a problem with the lifestyle this is one of the bad basic you know solutions that people are given take supplements it's never going to do anything for you like there's no research behind it that showed that or proved that but anyway um that's what happens. And a, a story that I was told recently, now, I am very dubious about the complete accuracy of the story, but I was told it in good faith, and I'll retell it to you, from a, a leader in the raw vegan movement who's been around for a long time. And he told me that he went to uh, an event years ago, and every all the different teachers and, and the different promoters and stuff, they had different tables, and... He had a table, other people had tables, and he set out his different products on the table, which were mostly books and courses and audio programs and, and, and different little products like that, uh, educational kind of stuff. But he noticed that no one else, everyone else's tables were empty. Right, so this is how the story goes. And he said that he was wondering why everyone's table was empty, and then a big truck pulled up. And it delivered all these jars and bottles of this green powder in um, unlabeled bottles and jars and, and so on, and, and you know, canisters and so on. And he said that what then happened was each of these different leaders in the movement, raw vegan movement, raw food movement, they put on different labels to what was essentially the same product, but just put on different labels. And, and this was what was sold at their different stands and, and stalls. Now, I don't, I almost can't really believe that that's exactly what happened. But maybe there's an element of truth to that story. And there's probably a great degree of truth to the reality of supplement sales, of nutritional product sales, of dried powder sales. And that it's probably all coming from the same place and they just put different labels on it and it's the same thing and I'd like to believe that there's some place that goes to some good farms and gets all that stuff it's very unlikely that that's happening uh, it's a wonderful business if you want to be in business at huge margins which is why lots of people get into it it's why it's one of the best products to sell if you're looking to just purely make profit and and make Money. And there's an easy story that's been told to you that people believe in because of their biases. The farmers have all gone nuts. They can't grow food anymore. There's all this chemicals in the food. There's no nutrition in the food. All that nonsense. Complete nonsense. No one's ever... No, no research. Nothing to actually prove that. 
but there's a lot of organizations that put out that nonsense not just because they're selling selling products but because you might be selling different opinions ideas about the environment um, different propagandas that the different organizations are trying to get out there so they're happy to pig, piggyback on behalf of that and a lot of people believe and in, buy into that they have an anti-government anti-big industry anti you know landowners or whatever bias that means they're happy to believe that the soil doesn't have any nutrition anymore because the farmers have all done bad things and all the food doesn't have any nutrition anymore totally false idea but a lot of people buy into it and uh, and for some reason people are really anti big pharma but they're happy to buy like a supplement product which is an unproven product that has no positive impact as far as we know so that's a little spiel on that industry but anyway in the raw food movement people have been selling that stuff so my and as people come into the raw vegan movement they're always as long as that's available people will always buy these supplements powders pills potions people will always buy them so if you want to come into the raw vegan or whatever movement natural food movement and make a business there you go there's the model it's there it works um, and you can go and sell that stuff you uh, so that, that's there for you it doesn't really help anyone it, it just it's just something to buy a, a lot of people like to buy things as well they like to invest and feel like they're part of something so they'll buy the things that people are buying to feel like they're part of the club and um, so you, maybe you want to make that investment but apart from the flavor and some of these things can add a nice flavor or color to your food i don't think they have the nutritional um, benefits that they claim to have or that they can't claim to have they usually don't claim to have because they're not able to they're usually food products rather than medical you know medicinal products because they don't actually because they're just dried food um, and why that would be better than fresh food no one knows and no one is able to actually tell us why but that's this is the case so uh, that's there you go so people get into the raw food movement, they, they, that's some of the products they buy, herbs, whatever. They probably realize that none of that stuff actually works, makes any difference to them. It doesn't make it easier to do a raw vegan diet. Um, so they uh, might end up, after that, looking into other things like obviously books, courses, events, and going along to things like that. And you're more likely to get a lot better return on your investment from a good book than from almost anything else. Uh, but also there's a lot of free information out there. But the problem is a lot of free information is kind of just opinions, confusing ideas. People are saying one thing, another person saying the opposite thing. It's very hard to work out who's right. You can spend years going down that rabbit hole. A lot of people don't either have that time or they kind of give up because it's all confusing and they just never find their way with it um but a good book and all the stuff that goes along with that more advanced information courses education that's really valuable i would say and i've made that investment myself into books and courses and things that have really helped me out so um i think that that's good if, if you find a good source and a good resource and that can certainly help going to the events and meeting people is another level on that because being in the community, immersed in the community, um, has a, an absolutely bigger impact if you're open to it and ready for that and if you're ready for using that. Some people are kind of toeing the water, they want to check it out, they want to come along and kind of listen. It's a nice little holiday or something, but they, they're not really looking to make a change, but they enjoy the environment. And they enjoy the people and that's great if that's what is that that's what they want they're supporting the raw food movement the raw vegan movement nothing wrong with that a lot of the people that come to festivals are beginners i just want to make that clear to people the raw vegan movement in terms of the festivals events retreats is not backed and supported unfortunately by raw vegans a lot of the time um I'll, I'll, if, if you were to go to someone who's been raw vegan a number of years and you were to show them a retreat or an event they would want to go they would look at it and go that looks great being around other raw vegans the great food nice environment that looks good but 
they're often kind of like it's not special to them anymore or something i'm not sure what it is but it doesn't sometimes move them a lot of them a lot of people that come to these events are not people that have already been into it. in fact a lot of times they feel maybe entitled to somehow be part of it contribute to it um they want to work on it or something like that they're not looking to just be a regular person at the event so these events in the raw food movement has, has always been backed in terms of the people that are buying into it and paying for these things by people that are beginners by people that are looking to be healthy that are not necessarily vegan yet raw vegan yet or anything and you might think that the path is someone goes from omnivore diet to to vegan diet to healthy vegan diet to restricted healthier vegan diet to eventually raw vegan diet maybe to fruitarian diet diet or something like that or, or raw vegan diet to a healthier raw vegan diet that's not the process that's actually not the process and so a lot of people have said over the years like oh we're better off telling people to go vegan that's not really the the answer to it and it's a bit of a naivety in a lot of people's part the idea that because vegan is easier that's that's just in your mind that it's easier for a start for someone who's not ready to make a change to their lifestyle any change is difficult and they're not looking to make any change but for people that are looking to make a change and who are serious about it and they're looking to and they've all of a sudden woken up to being healthier they're looking for what is healthy and what is healthiest and they're looking to try it so when we say hey this is what we do fruits and vegetables in abundance that makes a lot of sense to people because that is what health is that's what healthy foods are to people so people like to try these things out and a lot of people that come to UK Fruit Fest are pescatarians, flexitarians, vegetarians and meat eaters as well quite frankly a lot of people are not raw vegan yet and we don't have someone at the door stopping people from coming in if they're not a real raw vegan if we did we'd have like 10 people and it would just be the presenters and maybe another small group of people that have somehow found themselves there um, so yeah these events are fantastic you get to meet the the leaders the presenters and that's has a special effect on you gets you really into it gets you inspired makes you think yep i can do this i can see them doing it i can actually see what they're doing i can do that and that's what the impact these events have as an offshoot you have amazing you used to meet amazing people now i reckon you probably meet amazing people at almost at many different events but the raw vegan events the fraternity events you meet some really high high quality people i don't know why but but people have gone towards this they're going towards that higher vibration higher energy opening up awakening consciousness those kind of people are what you want to be around for sure in life those kind of people you want to be around so uh, it's all good you know these festivals these events are brilliant so I, I recommend all that to you but i've also seen the people that have done the books the courses went to the festivals went to the um, other stuff and didn't get and still haven't changed their diet and lifestyle and still haven't went raw vegan and none of that worked for them it can work for you if you are ready to put in the work it can 100 percent work for you but you must be prepared to take it seriously take the information use it start applying it start working with it and you have to be quite self-motivated to do that and that's where a lot of people fall behind because it's difficult sometimes for many people to self-motivate themselves when it comes to their diet and lifestyle and and the feeling of restricting themselves and that's where coaching comes in right so another thing that people are offering in the raw vegan movement is coaching right uh, 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 yeah i was gonna add i was gonna add this there's another thing here that people offer but anyway coaching and the coaching helps with the with helping the person to stay motivated get focused get clear get them accurate information so you want someone that's actually helped a lot of people or can show that they've helped people um with the right information or that a lot of people are happy to vouch for them and saying yeah they are they are good they know what they're talking about these are the kind of people you want to you want to work with and um 
the value of coaching is an interesting thing to talk about because it's very hard to work out. If someone helped me um, to change my diet, it's very hard for me to say, what's the value of that over the course of my life, of me changing my diet? For someone to not become obese. Yeah, sorry, just a little bit of a cut there. Uh, yeah, so it, it's very hard to work out what's the, what's the value of that to a person if it really works for you, obviously. Now, the, the drawbacks of a lot of the way that coaching is offered, sometimes if you see a lot of people that are offering it, it's usually often it's one at a time sessions. So they might say, if you look on different people's websites, you'll see $60 for an hour, $100 for an hour, $200 for an hour, you know, just to, for an hour of their time to speak to them and ask them questions and everything like that. And that can be really valuable. If you've got the right questions that you really need an answer to, that can be worth it. The problem is it could just turn into like just talking, chatting, talking about things, especially people that aren't, they just kind of want to connect with the person because they like them, they see them online. And if you're not ready to hear the answer that maybe you don't want to hear, once again, it might not be worth it to you. If, you. if you're stuck in your ways and you're looking for them to tell you what you want to hear rather than what's the, the reality, um, it could be bad. But they also might give you the wrong information. So that's the, the problem. But the way that I see it is that there's not a lot of value sometimes in that as well because what we really need is something more long term, something where a person works with you consistently and helps you out. And if you're to multiply that up in terms of people giving $100 an hour sessions and multiply that up over weeks or months or half a year or a full year, then that's obviously, that would be like a, a lot of money. That's like a proper program um, and the disadvantages of that are that some people are going to fall out, are going to stop, they're not going to continue with it, they're not going to take the advice and then it, wor it works out being you know, a bad use of your time I guess. And if you're on a limited budget then that's not probably the best option for you. The books, the online information, if you can really get it, like doing your own experiment, if that's what you're into, that is going to be good for you. And, and a lot of people don't like getting help from people directly. They don't like being told this is how you do it. So if you're that kind of stubborn person and you don't want to be told how to do it, you're not going to want to do coaching with someone. You're going to want to read 100 books, be completely confused by the end of it, go to all the courses and events. Maybe you'll work out how to do it, but many, many people don't. The people that work out how to do it are always the people who have one for me, they have one or the maximum two direct mentors, whether that's as a as an actual coach or not, direct mentors that they follow. You can get very confused if you go, there'll be lots of people giving all sorts of good advice, but you can just get confused and you kind of want to hear someone else's opinion and someone else's opinion before you do anything. That's You want to start taking action and doing something. If you find someone that's had success helping other people, <clears throat> you should and you're happy with them, you think what they're saying is right, and it's working for you when you start, you should stick to that rather than think, I'm going to go to another person, another person, another person, another person. That's my perspective on it. <clears throat> so it's, it's for the, the coaching kind of thing, real proper coaching is probably not going to be, it's, it's a bit of a financial risk for people that can't afford to do it. And you might be able to work it out for yourself. Now, you might not be able to work it out for yourself and the, the coaching might be a good um, investment for you. It might make you more motivated to do it. It might make you stick to it. And so you need to understand yourself a little bit to know if it's worth it. For the people that it is really worth the investment <clears throat> are the people who the money is not such uh, an, an onerous thing, you know, in terms of spending hundreds or thousands of pounds in a coaching program. <clears throat> the money is not as big an issue for you or it's not as much of a stretch but what is an issue to you is your time and you don't really have the time to get into this whole thing read all the books go to all these places that's not what you want to do with your life you know you know what you're doing with your life you've got the, your goals you've got the things you're working at but you've realized that this lifestyle is going to help you improve everything else you're doing. Getting healthier is going to improve everything else you're doing. Or 
it could be that you you realize your health has fallen apart a little bit and you kind of don't have the time to invest in trying to learn and trying to wade yourself through all this information and, and all that stuff. Younger people, people that are healthier, you, you've got the time, the energy, whether you'll have the direction, the focus to do it, who knows. But certainly for people that are in a position where um, the time is a little bit limited or you value your time a lot, so um, you know, doing all your own personal research is not really something you're looking to do. You're kind of looking for guidance. Um, you're happy to listen to someone, take their advice. You're someone that has a history of, and you know you have a history of being happy to learn from people, take their information, apply it, and uh, you're committed, that kind of person. Then a coaching program is, is much more um, suitable for you. It's as, as I say, it's probably not suitable for the people that it's a real financial risk to, to, to invest in you know coaching. Um, the same to some to some degree with events, although the events are, you're probably going to go on holiday this year, and pay about the same amount. So going to an event is not really going to make a big difference to your budget over a year. Uh, going to one of the festivals or retreats. And people have sometimes talked to me about the, the price of some of the retreats being really expensive. I'm like, that's that's what people spend on holiday. But you're getting, on top of a holiday, you're getting fantastic education, you're getting a nice group of people to be around, you're getting all these different things. You just go to a resort in Spain, like a, a nice, nice-ish resort, you'll spend more. You know, so, um, and that's per person. Like, you know, so uh, these, yeah, anyway, I won't get into all that. But um, uh, coaching is a different thing. Now, I do offer coaching, but I'm very, I want to be honest about coaching. Like, there's a lot of people that start coaching and then they stop. There's a lot of people that start coaching and don't listen to you. There's a lot of people that start coaching with you and they um, just argue with you. They want to tell you that you're wrong, you know, and stuff like that. And for all these people who aren't open to learning, they're not. They, they, what they don't get is that to do this lifestyle 100% for years, 100%, with no like having dairy products now and again, with no eating animal products now and again, with no cooked food now and again, to do that 100% is different to doing it 50% or doing a, what I would call a high raw diet. A high raw diet is someone that eats one or two meals of raw food per day. That kind of person is quite rare, actually. <laughs> I've found it to be very rare. Most people are, are not high raw, but they might say they're high raw. Many of those people eat a lot of fruit, but they, they don't do it consistently. So raw vegans are, um, or, and those transitioning to raw vegan are what I would say People that are transitioning to raw vegan are on a high raw diet, but they're, but they're, they're looking to transition. So, um, is coaching right for you? And coming up to the new year, you're looking to maybe transform and change your life. You're, this is your commitment now. So, I hope that some of this video has value to you in terms of what you might invest in. You've got a lot of free information online. I've got loads of videos. You can watch them all if you like. Um, there's lots of free stuff you can download. You can probably get all the books in PDF format if you like. Psychologically, you're always slightly better off buying things because you're invested in it. You're almost better off having a physical product because you actually have it. It's there. It's sitting there all the time. You're more likely to actually pick it up and use it and read it. And the same with same with uh, music or whatever or audio programs or whatever. Um, and courses and things, you're more likely to, to use these things if you actually have them. And also ethically, it's not that great an idea to sort of steal things, which it kind of is if you if you download books for free because someone's copyrighted it and all that. It's, it's not a great idea. Um, the events are just fantastic fun regardless of where you're at in this lifestyle. They're, they're just amazing, brilliant people, great food. Um, obviously UK Fruit Fest, you should try and register soon because spaces are starting to run out. We're, we're, we've been 
doing a little bit of advertising recently. We're already starting to get a lot of people signed up. We're going to start our big, big campaign in January, and we're going to sell out pretty soon. In January, maybe, maybe in January even, maybe February. But um, obviously, you're welcome to come. And that'll be your best week of the year. If it's not your best week of the year, I'd be like amazed. I'd be willing to bet that it's your best. That that'll be your highlight of the year. If you come to UK Fruit Fest. Fruitfest.co.uk slash registration if you want to check that out. The coaching is um, another thing on offer. I've not been doing a lot of it recently. Um, and that's because I'm, I, I do get concerned that it's not the right thing for a lot of people. And I'm trying to work out who is it the right person for so that I can be clear to people, listen, this is not for you. It's okay. Um, you don't have to be uh, you don't have to what you don't have to think you're going to do that uh, or that's what I want you to do or anything I, I only want people to do these things if it's the right thing for them the fruit fest you're going to have a great time regardless like there's so few there's so few people that won't have a great time at fruit fest even people that come that are omnivores they have a great time great people great environment people love it good activities education it's brilliant um, book, the books, a lot of people aren't going to use the books. The raw food uh, gadgets and gizmos, the blenders, the dehydrators, a lot of people aren't going to use them, unfortunately. I mean, I use my Vitamix every day, but a lot of people don't. Um, exercise bikes and stuff, no one, no one ever uses these things, right? Basically. <laughs> Basically. And all the advice in the world, all the free advice in the world, if you don't apply it, so the coaching is for people who are struggling to apply it, but only if you really are in that place where it's affordable to you, um, so that if you actually end up not using it, then at least it wasn't, it's not financially, uh, you know, made life difficult for you. Um, but you have a high likelihood that you're going to use it, you're going to use the help, you're going to use the time very productively, you're going to get something out of it. And the... Uh, you're willing to listen to advice and take advice and take action. If you're that kind of person, it's worth it. And your time is valuable to you, so you don't have the time to go out there, research, read and do all that stuff and figure it all out for yourself. You just want to go to someone who's done it, who's taught other people how to do it. If that's you, then you're more of a right candidate for that. So in that situation, the coaching would be valuable to you. It's valuable to anyone who would use it, but I'm trying to siphon out the people who would actually use it and would get a value out of it. So that's what I want to say to you. And um, it's uh, I'm, I'm concerned a little bit in the, in, in the world, really. The coaching is becoming a very big industry, like massive, massive industry, because more and more people are realizing the value of it. More and more people are realizing that you can spend years learning something or you can just get a coach or someone to kind of show you how to do it or a consultant and you take years you take years off your time so it makes a lot of sense to people it makes a huge amount of sense why take five years learning something or ten years when someone can just like show you how to do it answer all your questions all the questions it took you all the questions that came up for me it took me months to find the answer to it took me going to Woodstock and speaking to people to get the answer to all of those questions, like, just get someone to give you all the answers straight away. You know, that takes tremendous time out of the equation. Um, that is where, that's the person that coaching is, or the, or the person that recognises that value um, is the person that the coaching is right for. So, I, uh, I don't have my link, I'll probably put a link down below if you want more information about my coaching I've got a presentation, firstly, that you can check out called The Three Biggest Mistakes People Make on a Raw Vegan Diet. That's free to watch. And if you see that, if you look at that, you'll be able to work out... Um, you should be able to take that information and see a lot of the mistakes you're making. I encourage you not to like invest in anything financially. If you can work this all out yourself, you've got the time, the energy, you want to do it. Especially younger people, you've got, you, want to, you want to do that. But, but other people don't. This is, a, this is becoming a long video, right? But 
Um, personally, I get, I've got a lot of problems with running the fruit festival all the time. Stuff that comes up. I don't want to have to like go and read the, the WordPress uh, guidance book to try and find the answer. I just want to go to WordPress and get someone tell me the answer. Or, or whatever the software I'm using. I just want to go to the thing. I don't want to have to become an expert at it. And go to their conference and like buy their books and do all that stuff. You know, I don't want to have to do that. I just want to go to the person and get the answer. Sometimes you have to pay more to get access to that, um, and it, it's worth it because it, once again, don't. That's not what I want to be interested in in life. That's not what my obsession is. So that's the way I look at it. So thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in learning more, I will try and put a link down below for some of my coaching information. And uh, maybe we'll see you on a, on a call or something. And once again, if it's not right for you, that's not that's absolutely fine. It's not right for the most people. For some people, it's right for. And even then, I'd be really trying to make sure that it's right for you before we ever done it, did anything. And um, I really, totally, I know I can get you a result. I absolutely know you, I can get you the result you're looking for, but um, you have to make sure that it's right for you. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Tomorrow we're getting closer to Christmas. We'll do some kind of special little Christmas video or something. And I hope you're all having a good time uh, going forward into the new year. Start thinking about maybe you know some new good habits you can in install in your life. And uh, yeah. Stay fruity, and we'll see you in the next video.